is Auburn Mayor Ron Anders with the Mayor's Minutes from our November 21st Auburn City Council meeting. Last night, the City Council began by approving a number of alcohol beverage licenses. The first two were for the new Circle K stores that will be actually uh, new owners of these stores. And these stores are located at 2385 Morris Mill Road and 2395 East University Drive. These formerly were MAPCO stores. City Council also approved a restaurant retail liquor license for a new business, uh, Sushia doing business at 2319 Bent Creek Road, Suite 300, as well as Hector's Cantina, doing business at 1936 South College Street. Under contracts and agreements last night, the City Council approved a contract with CSL Services uh, to provide a temporary sewer flow study for the Southside Water Treatment Plant. Uh, this will be a 90-day study. The City Council also approved the purchase of a 2024 Ford Edge for the Police Department. Um, $38,000. There are some nuances to this purchase. I encourage you to go to the city's website and read about that and in our um, information regarding our meeting. City Council also approved the purchase of one uh, 7500 G-Series mower for Public Works and Landscape and Sustainability Division. This is a budgeted item for $33,000. The City Council approved uh, an agreement, a lease actually, with Southern Communication Services to provide radio equipment and shelter space for the expansion of the public safety radio system. City Council approved the purchase of one 2025 International Dump Truck for Public Works Construction Division. Again, this is per, uh, a budgeted item. City Council approved the purchase of a Ford F-150 Super Crew Cab for the Cemetery Division of Parks and Rec as well as uh, approving a 2024 F-350 crew cab for the Parks and Rec Cemetery Division. And then finally, the City Council did approve a 2024 Caterpillar backhoe for the Parks and Rec Cemetery Division. And then finally, last night, the City Council approved a F-750 dump truck for the Public Works Landscape and Sustainability Division. These are a lot of purchases. I want our community to understand all of these have been budgeted and planned for. If you have any information about this, please don't hesitate to call my office or call your city council representative or call the departments that are impacted. An ordinance is last night, the city council approved the annex an annexation of uh, approximately 2.16 acres. This property is located at 47 Lee Road 0716. This is Lightfoot Court. The City Council approved an amendment to the Madison Park PDD. This property is located at Wire Road in Haley Lane. There was an addition of uh, only about one acre, but there have been some changes. All the information uh, regarding this is located on the city's website, uh, specifically the information regarding our meeting last night. And the City Council approved the Severe Weather Preparedness Tax Holiday. This will be February the 23rd through February the 25th. There will be more information about this uh, in the coming months. Under resolutions last night, the City Council approved an institutional use for ACC Academy. This property is located at 2200 Hamilton Road. This will be a new elementary school K-2. through City Council also approved the conditional use for the new Sonic Tools located at 177 Technology Parkway. They'll actually be doing an expansion in the near future and we welcome Sonic Tools to our community. And the City Council approved a, the Vintage Expansion. This project is located at 2240 East University Drive. This will include a 5,000 square foot commercial building, some multifamily, and then a, actually a new bank building as well. Under tax abatements, the City Council approved extensions for GE Aerospace and IPEX USA. Both of these are related to supply chain challenges that these companies are having. The City Council approved a concurrence for our new ACDI Business Center located at 1470 Pumphrey Avenue. All the information related to this, again, is located uh, in our packet information for our meeting last night. Um, this is just regarding the financing of this building. And the City Council approved a contract with Timco uh, for a new Model 600 Street Sweeper for Public Works for the Landscape and Sustainability Building uh, Division. This is uh, $311,000. This is a budgeted item. This will give us three street sweepers who do a great amount of work for our community to keep Auburn beautiful and clean, especially during this time of year. Under Mayor's announcements, I just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and safe travels, and I want to thank our city staff here at the City of Auburn who do an outstanding job, who will be working through the holidays, many of them, to allow us to have free time with our family and to have fun, and we just appreciate, I just appreciate everything that our staff does here at the City of Auburn, and I want to thank our community for being a great community and making Auburn such a special place to live. This is Mayor Ron Anders, happy Thanksgiving.